I'm here with my new teammate, Luke Patience, and we're just going to ask each other a few questions. So, first of all, who is your sporting hero? Oh, good one. Um, I think probably Roger Federer. I just love his composure on the court, whether he's winning or losing. He just seems to be the same guy, regardless of what's going on around him, and uh, I admire that. I wish I was like that. Joe, um, how hard is it going to be taking off your coaching hat and putting your sailor's one back on? Um, I don't think it'll be too bad, actually. I think, uh, I think as a, there's an element in sailing, you're always coaching yourself anyway. And, um, and so I, I think there's not a huge difference between the roles. I think the main thing is, the main difference, I suppose, is um, when you're at a competition, you're... It's a, it's a selfish role being a sailor. You've got to think about yourself and your teammate, uh, but, but you know, you're very focused on that. Not, you're not looking it out for someone else and looking out for what they need to do. You're, you're thinking about what you need to do to be in the right frame of mind and physically in the right place. So um, I don't think it'll be too bad. You've just got to make that switch. Yeah. Uh, OK, in what ways am I different to Stu? Um, I think that when you sail with different people, um, Every, you've, you find that everyone's slightly different and, uh, and I think that's a good thing about partnerships and teammates is that as you go through the sport and uh, experience those different partnerships, you, you learn more. So, um, of course, you're, you're different from Stuart and um, I think in the ways that, you know, you, you clearly have a, a bit more experience under your belt than, than Stuart through the amount of years you've been doing the sport and so I think your perspective on it um, seems to come from a place which is, uh, I don't know, I guess just more, you've seen more moves, you've seen it happen more, and I think that um, that's a very good asset to have, and I think that's why you often see people performing later on in their careers rather than when in their early 20s, like footballers or tennis players. So, so you are different, and, uh, uh, but it's all good. I learn all the time, so I welcome the change. Okay. Here's one for you. What is our biggest strength? I think our biggest strength is, I'm not going to say experience because uh, I, th I don't think you can rest on experience. I think uh, our biggest strength is, I think, I think we've got pretty similar ideas to how we go about a campaign and how we train. Um, and I think also, I think we've fulfilled similar roles in the boat to the people that we sailed with before. So I think we've got a, an immediate understanding of how we want to work as a team and how we'll communicate in the boat. So, um, yeah, I think at, at this stage, I think that's our biggest strength. When we, once we've raced, maybe I'll, I'll think of something more specific. Mm -hmm. OK, what is our biggest weakness? Our biggest weakness? Um, well, I guess probably time in the boat together at the minute. Um, I realise that's not where the question's quite going, but... Uh, Similar to what you're saying, don't know yet, you know, it's probably a fairly generic answer and I think it, it genuinely is time in the boat, you know, it will be something like boat handling if we were putting a start line today in front of the world fleet with all the very best, I think we'd struggle to get out the blocks um, very well, you know, for, before the race has even started, so, uh, but that'll come, I think it's just that time. Okay, Joe, um, who is your sailing hero? Sailing hero. Um, I would have to say John Merricks. He won a silver in '96. Uh, was a coach for me. Tragically died, um, but he was an amazing sailor, a brilliant 470 sailor, and uh, and also just a great guy. His enthusiasm for sailing, for training, uh, for working hard and having fun. John Merricks. Good choice. When you cross the finishing line, knowing you've won a medal. What's going through your head? Interesting one. Um, I think, I think probably firstly is a, well. It depends on how you won the medal. You maybe, for example, you might have lost the gold medal and got a silver, or you might have come from maybe fourth or fifth and come in and won a medal, and it might have also been a silver. You know, so I think it very much depends on how you got to that place, the series of events. Well, the, you know, the, how the week went, how you found yourself to that place. But uh, I guess if it's a, a medal you have won, I, I think it's often a sense of relief that rushes in at first. And then, um, 
you know, excitement and elation and all these things you'd expect, but often it's relief because it's something you've working for for a long time and um, especially the outcome regattas. So, uh, yeah, relief's probably the, the biggest thing there, but um, I've won a lot of silver medals and not a lot of gold medals. So I can say as well that often I feel just that, not quite content, you know, not quite content. You know, obviously we all do it to win, not to come second. So, yeah. For, it's been a bit bit often that I've felt that not content bit, so we'll see. But yeah, relief's a big one. Okay, last question for me, Joe. Um, what are you most looking forward to about our partnership? Winning more gold medals and silver medals. Brilliant. Cheers. Um, but uh, oh, I'm just I'm just looking forward to uh, to the journey, trying to improve, trying to trying to race. Uh, it's all about the racing, isn't it? And um, so I just can't wait uh, till our first competition and uh, see where we're at. Okay, good. My last question to you is, what's so great about the ding our way dinghy show? It's just, you know, sailing's a massive sport, isn't it, in the, in the world and also in our country. You know, the fact that the UK is surrounded by water means that there is all types of sailing in all types of boats um, in all parts of the country. And uh, it's just a good weekend to keep the excitement going every year about the sport and to f hopefully bring in you know, new blood, whether they be old or young, to get excited about it and, and realise that there are many things you can do within the sport. It's not just about Olympic sailing. It's not just about racing. Um, it is for us, but not for everyone. So um, it's just a great weekend for that awareness and see some old friends and faces as well. And uh, yeah, I hope it carries on every year.